Hey, this is Austin with Roasty Coffee, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Barazza Encore Coffee Grinder. So, Barazza, it's been a name in the industry for a while. Um, they're known for making really great grinders, um, mostly for home use. Also, you know, I do know some shops that use them in their commercial space, um, but they're just easy to use, reliable grinders. This particular model that I have is the Encore. Um, so it's one of their more base models. Um, but the nice thing is all of the inside parts are pretty much the same. Um, so the burrs, um, the motor, all of that is similar to their top ones. It's just what bells and whistles are coming with it. Um, so for this grinder, I've had it for a couple years now. Just changed out the burrs, uh, depending on use. I don't know, you should change them out every two to five years, depending on how often you are using them, how much coffee you're putting through them. Um, but something I love about this is it's really easy to do that as well on your own. Um, so, um, what we have here is we've just got a simple on off. That's all it does right here. Um, you just rotate that switch there. Um, we've got our hopper um, up on top. And um, I mean, pretty straightforward. You take your beans, throw them in the hopper, put the lid back on. You can start here. It'll just keep running until you turn it off. Um, and then what we have here is our dial. Um, so that's how we're gonna change the grind, um, how coarse or how fine the coffee is. Um, so I do a lot of pour over. So um, for a V60, I'm typically in a range between 15 and 20 on their scale, um, but it goes all the way from zero up to 40. Um, and so it gives you a lot of flexibility, which is another great thing about this model, as you can use it for a home espresso maker. You know, the, the grind will go fine enough to do that. Or if you're more of a French press person, you can go all the way course to do a French press. So lots of versatility with it, easy to use, really straightforward. You're just gonna turn the actual uh, hopper in order to change the grind setting. Once you're at where you want, you just turn it on, let it go. Um, there's a little button up here that just allows you to purge. If you need to, you can just tap it. It's just kind of like a pulse setting. Um, and then all your coffee will just end up down here in this little canister and you can remove it, put it into your coffee uh, maker or pour over, whatever your choice is, and then put it back in and it's ready to go. Um, so for that reason, I love it. And it's also really easy to clean, which I can, I found that some grinders are not easy to clean. Um, so you can get stuff built up in the burrs. Um, but with this one, all you have to do is take it to the coarsest setting and then you can actually just pop this off so you can wipe it out, clean up your hopper. And then right here, I'm able to look right down into the burrs. Um, you know, you can take a little brush, wipe them off, a cloth, whatever it is, and just make sure there's nothing stuck or built up. So that way you're always gonna get the cleanest, freshest cup of coffee um, from this grinder. Um, and I would say, just across the board, grinders are the most important coffee equipment that you can own, because um, it's the easiest way to go from making good coffee to great coffee, or mediocre coffee to good coffee. Um, Having a good grinder that will have consistent grind size and flexibility is the key to making good coffee. All right, so I went ahead and ground on two different settings. One almost as fine as I could go on like a five, and then one almost as coarse as I could go on a 35 are the two numbers on this. Um, so five is like, you know, between five and 10 probably is where you're going to be for an espresso. Um, 
that 35 give or take is where you will be for a French press um, and obviously it'll do anything in between that um, but does a really great job where this one you know is almost like a powder the fine for the espresso this one for the French press um, is gonna have those bigger boulders is what the grind size is um, just coarser um, so it does a really good job of everything in between there. Yeah, so that's the Barazza Encore. Um, hope this was helpful to you. This is the grinder I've been using at home for the last couple years. Um, I love it, really easy to use, really straightforward. Um, so if you wanna check out more details for it, um, learn a little bit more, see if it'd be a good fit for you, just hit the link below, um, check it out there. But yeah, Barazza Encore, I love it. Thanks for watching.